In a few weeks, Wisconsin voters will get the chance to elect a new Supreme Court justice. State Supreme Court is typically a nonpartisan race, but one of the candidates has released an ad that shows he is aligning with a political party. News 3's Rose Schmidt tracked down all three people running for the position, and she's here now with the details. Rose? That's right. Well, Wisconsin Supreme Court justices have to rule on some of the state's most controversial issues. And the candidates vying for the position have different ideas about whether their political views should enter into the discussion. In deciding who sits on the Supreme Court bench, politics is typically kept out of the equation. In general, we see judicial candidates staying away from issues, not wanting to comment on things that might come before them on the court but really only wanting to talk about a judicial philosophy or their experience or preparation for the job. But Madison attorney Tim Burns is using a different strategy to get voters to elect him to the Supreme Court. I'm a lifelong Democrat. I have been a major supporter of the Democratic Party and Democratic candidates. Burns' campaign is releasing a new ad taking Democratic stances on issues and fighting back against Republican leaders. Someone who will bring change, who isn't afraid to stand up to Scott Walker's extreme agenda. A fighter for us. Meet Tim Burns. While some are applauding Burns' honesty, his opponents in the race, judges Rebecca Dallet and Michael Skrnock, are questioning whether he would be able to leave his partisan beliefs off the bench if he were to get elected. We are bound by a judicial code of ethics that says we are not allowed to uh, align with any partisan politics. That's the judicial code. I am following that judicial code. I believe strongly that the role of the court is to simply interpret and apply the law as it's written, but not to be a policy analyst or a political activist from the bench. In past Supreme Court races, candidates have tried different avenues to win over the people of Wisconsin. Voters will have to decide over the next couple of weeks which approach they like best, as the three candidates will get narrowed down to two after the primary election. Any combination of those candidates could emerge. It's, it's really unclear what will be happening. The primary election is coming up. It's on February 20th. From there, two of the three Supreme Court candidates will be moving forward. Rose Schmidt in the studio with us. Rose, thank you.